Rose, Auburn High School, class of 95. Woo! Keep it going for all the comics tonight. It's a great night. Frondu, I didn't know Frondu was gonna be here. Somebody in the room must have. Somebody must have said his name three times and summoned him tonight. It was a big surprise. <laughs> and Adam, I'm sorry if my stern face made you think that I was disapproving of your, you know, jokes. I've just never seen somebody who looks like every butch lesbian in Madison who is so anti-feminist and pro-rape. Mystifying to me. I was just, I was just in an, you're an enigma. So. <laughs> All right. Well, now give it up for me, everybody, because I recently dropped out of graduate school. I spent six years in graduate school. Finally called it. I wasn't very good at it. Now, I just want to say this: you can take the girl out of the graduate program, but you can take the Adderall from the girl when you pry it from my cold, dead hands. <laughs> Okay, I've been um, recalibrating my career goals ever since I dropped out of school. The plan originally was to get my PhD and um, you know save the world with empowering comprehensive sex education programs, but I dropped out and now I'm doing comedy. So my new career goal is I think I want to get Ann Coulter to call me a godless whore. Yeah. Because I just want to make my dad proud to be ashamed of me. <laughs> all I've ever wanted. Speaking of um, disappointing my parents, I got this tattoo. Oh, sorry. Well, it's an awesome mom and dad piece, you know. There's a lot of tattoos. Give it up for tattoos. I saw a lot of ink on the artist tonight. So I got this one, a tribute to my mom and dad. They're always, you know, saying that they're praying for me or having their priest friends say, you know, like a mass dedicated in my honor. So I just wanted to express my love for them in a way that would make them equally uncomfortable. <laughs> Because I think a well thought out, like beautifully executed tattoo is absolutely like the best way to say I'm always going to love you and I'll always be a little mad at you. <laughs> new tattoos and new babies are exactly alike in the sense that your friends who don't have any and don't want any do a terrible job of feigning enthusiasm when they congratulate you on your new addition. Also, fresh babies and fresh tattoos are too bloody and horrific to take pictures of on the first day. Wave her to heal first, okay? Thanks. Oh, I do have um, a part-time job. Since dropping out of school, I work part-time as a rape, rape crisis worker. I take on-call shifts. Shit! <laughs> I take on-call shifts overnight. Picking up messes left around by. <laughs> I'm keeping you in I answer, that. I answer the crisis line. I'll also go to the emergency room or police department if someone is reporting an assault. Um, it's a difficult job, but I'm very proud to do it. I don't make quite as much money as I did as a teaching assistant, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's sad. But I I mean on a on a good month I can make like a few extra hundred dollars or so, but like a good month means there was a lot of rape. <laughs> I think I, I think I'm starting to get a little like jaded and desensitized too at my job, you know, it's been a while and I'm kind of burned out. Um, what tipped me off was the last time I was working with a client, she told me she had been roofied, and I high-fived her. <laughs> we strive for empowering, but I don't think that's right. That wasn't good. I think I need some time away from that job. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so aside from my um, part-time overnight on-call job, I'm mostly home all day, all the time, since I dropped out of school. Um, but I don't like the term housewife because um, I think housewife kind of implies a level of like domestic skills that I don't have. I think the preferred term would be stay-at-home American. <laughs> since I dropped out of school, I seriously, I can't do anything. I don't know how to properly clean a bathroom at all. Like All I know how to do is do a thorough literature search on best bathroom cleaning practices then I can evaluate all of those articles for theoretical validity and methodological rigor. 
and my husband hates sitting through those PowerPoint presentations. <laughs> One time he tried to even make